Okay, so today I'm doing an update on all my Venus fly traps, and they are kind of rough, and I otherwise wouldn't be making this video except for the health conditions they're in right now uh, is not my fault, so uh, I'll start off by saying that I went on vacation and person that was supposed to water them didn't, so they dried up, but they've been outside, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's been going on. Alright, so here are the fly traps, and they're not really doing too great, but that's what happens when you leave them at your house and nobody waters them for three weeks. Um, it's a good thing I had them in the peat moss because if I had them in long fibered sphagnum moss they would have dried out completely but at least this uh, retained moisture a little bit longer I guess. Um, so a lot of this black uh, dying leaves uh, was all the old growth that died when I was on vacation. This one is a especially bad. A lot of death on this one. Uh, a lot of death on that one. This one's really tiny. Um, and these were some that I bought recently. Um, and the old foliage died because it was sort of uh, acclimating to the sunlight. Here's a new one I got. Uh, it's pretty healthy uh, foliage is just kind of discolored again because I put it out in full sun uh, but if we look really closely and I have it on macro but it's not gonna be zooming in much more than that uh, we've got new growth coming out of the center um, on all of these uh, so in a few more weeks we'll sort of be uh, I guess uh, bouncing back uh, th these ones have like three traps in the center of that one uh, there's about four in the center of that one even this tiny one is bouncing back um, and then here's the butt cheeks cultivar which always grows pretty good uh, it's one of the hardiest ones I have uh, even though it can't catch food because the traps don't work it still grows vigorous as hell I can't figure out why um, and then these were just kind of bought recently. Uh, old foliage uh, got kind of burned in the sun, but there's new stuff growing from the center. Uh, so a couple more weeks and uh, these should be fine. Uh, so again, it's really uh, kind of a sad update. Um, they've sort of been through a lot and before uh, me leaving, and them not getting watered last year was kind of a bad growing season because it was cold and cloudy every day. Uh, really didn't get a lot of foliage growth on them. In addition to that, I had an outbreak of mites, which I didn't really know about. I should have kept closer attention to the plants um, because I only realized it after a few months and then I was sort of screwing around with different insecticides that weren't killing the mites and they sort of weakened the fly traps. Uh, the mites didn't go away, um, but eventually I bought a miticide and I sort of just was dunking them in that every few weeks until all the mites died. Um, so this summer it's pretty much just trying to uh, restock everything I used to have in my collection um, and then just sort of get these uh, bouncing back and uh, healthy again. Which is happening, so you know, it's a lot of them have really good growth uh, emerging from the center. Um, it's just gonna take maybe another month or two before these start looking good again.